Hi, this time I want to show you how to create uh, a 3D text. A really, really simple is for beginners because uh, this software uh, is a very, very good one. Uh, everybody want to have it, even beginners. And this is a short introduction to show you how to use this software and how amazing things can you do with this. Well, this is a professional software. It's not software to play, but you don't want to play and learn something better about it. It's a good idea. So this software, it, it is used from designers, from architects, from, well, good paste of paper. So all you're gonna do to, to create a simple 3D text here, in our case, in this tutorial, I will use a floor by hitting this button. If you hit this and make the, make the click and make it click it, so you can add, you can see your menu, what you can add here. And after this, all you're gonna do is to rotate our floor here, and to add more graph and more text. Well, this will not pop up immediately because uh, this is I don't have. So I need to install RAM my computer. But it will show. Yes, here we are. Let's go ahead and make it bold. Let's make the depth, as you see here, our depth, make it more deeper. R 3D and uh, let's type put caps lock and guide type test 3D and here it is. Here are our letters. All you gotta do is to put it here somewhere in the middle and uh, let's go up here. Yeah. Very good. After this, you are gonna do it. You are gonna caps lock and file file cap and make your edges looks greater. After this, you are gonna file cap too and put the same sizes. Yeah, it's the best one. After this, you are gonna need to create material. Uh, you, can, you are gonna put uh, a color in it, for example. Uh, for the floor, for the floor, uh, this color is great. Yeah, it's good. But reflection, texture, Fresno. You gotta add Fresno. Yeah, make it physical to make it look greater. We put it inside. We create a second material after this. We create a second material for the letters. To put. Uh, I like blue and the reflection reflection yeah put it blue to okay texture is uh, fresno yeah, fresno make it as you go to yeah okay but on the letter so far blue after this we are gonna need to add lights only one click here and your light will be added inside and you gotta put your light everywhere you like. Not only one, two or three, I think, because one it's not good for this, for those things. So here it is, our free text. If after this all we gotta do is go to render settings to set our size, let it in this way. Well I click multipass, ambient occlusion inside and Global illumination. I'm blending like occlusion. Global illumination. Set it is in G mode. Set this higher and tune is still image. Still image. If you wanna put depth of field too, put it. It's a great one. And let's render it.
Well, uh, that's that is. I think it's a pretty one. So what we gotta do is, if we like, no, if we like to go here and to put it somewhere here, yeah, that's brand right. With this, uh, with this way, you can make well wallpapers. We can make you can make PNG formats for YouTube channel. Well, everything you like. Yeah, it's very very great. I think great. As you see here. It looks pretty realistic. Well, this is a simple tutorial. We can add, uh, we can add more and more and more uh, things here inside. But I like this software. It works for me very very good well to make my wallpapers or everything I like. For this, all you gotta do is, if you wanna render this picture and uh, save it as PNG. Oh yes, to save you gotta go here. Save, save as uh, PNG, QuickTime PNG. You gotta tick your alpha channel, and uh, after this, QuickTime PNG. Yes, 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 yes. You wanna make it bigger? For example, you make it bigger. You gotta go at output and uh, put your size here what you want and uh, everything will go put your resolution if you like resolution would be 300 for example uh, I could put it uh, or or yes and this way so all we're gonna do is to close it to go a little further here we're gonna change our materials here remove use materials and to create some materials I got visualize because uh, there are some ready material materials you gotta you gotta update this because uh, it's a very pretty one. Well, I put it inside and create a new material. Load material with a, you can you use uh, from with a couple of pro shaders if you have uh, installed on them. Well, let's go back. Let's put marble. Great, load material with a couple of pro shaders. Stone, marble. Yeah, let's put marble on it. Yeah, it's pretty one. Yeah, good. Uh, after this, are you gonna need some new material for for the floors? Liquid, not liquid. Nature outdoor sketch stone. No, 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 no. Wood, no. Metal. Let's go. Gold. Yeah, that's it. Let's add some gold. Or material. Now for this, all we gotta do is to hit the second one render to picture viewer. It will take some time because a big it's a big image. I think it will be a pretty realistic one. this time like, because this PC does not support all these programs I have installed in all I need is a new one with a great graphics card great processor and bigger mouth from
as I say to you, it's not a pretty fast road. say you guys are like to share with you thanks because YouTube is something like Facebook but it's not Facebook I hate Facebook Facebook the only thing you can do there is talk 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 nothing else during YouTube you can share something with the people you can learn something from them the videos you can talk with them I like it too and I like to share tutorials not tutorials but I want Everything I know, I want to share it with you to make you learn if you don't know something and to make people know better that I know because I learn from you too. My computer does not work properly because, as you see here, it's not a great processor. Intel Core i3. <laughs> Come on, I need a big processor to make the things happen fast, faster. I think I will do, I will make this video hard speed because <laughs> I'm gonna be shamed on YouTube with those speeds. But now, yeah, I'm gonna put this this way. It's working. Very slow, but it's working. Here you go. As I say to you, the software is for designers, for architects, for I think you can make your uh, 3D examples or pretty realistic ones for to introduce your job or your projects. Well, I'm gonna sleep. And we will see each other half <laughs> an hour, or one hour later. Because I think I 
on, come on, come on, faster, faster. Go, go, yes, come on. A great piece of software. A very, very great. My computer is not too fast for this software. But I do my work with this. Whether or not, that's all I can. Yes. Yeah. No, it's finished. All you gotta do after this is to go to file and save us. Still image, yeah. That is cut. You did untitled one. Yeah, it's saved. Now all we gotta do is close our Cinema 4D and to see our folder. It's yeah, this folder is in uh, good format. Well, if it was better than this, <laughs> you're gonna set it as that is couple paper. Yeah, it was great for me. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye and subscribe, please.